Howdy, y'all. OJ Bird here. Tweet, tweet. Wolfman here. <laughs> now, today we're continuing our little guided tour down the chicken sandwich in a rabbit hole that is competition right now. Well, that's what he's doing today. Except for, you know, Wolfman has to be a little different today. He wanted to do this chicken sandwich, and I kind of wasn't feeling the chicken sandwich, so I'm doing a burger. What was this burger? The Pretzel Pub Burger. The Pretzel Pub Burger without the Our onion. Our Pretzel Bacon Pub. Yeah, the Pretzel Bacon Pub without the onion. Looks good. Looks very good. And I have the Jalapeno Popper Spicy Chicken Sandwich. Looks great. Got bacon and stuff on it. The jalapenos. Mm. Oh my. Got anything on my face? Mm hmm. <laughs> it always ends up on your face. <laughs> I can already tell you, the chicken has a lot more flavor than McDonald's. This cheese on this burger? Woo. Mm. That first bite was nothing but just the spicy chicken and the bacon in that bite. But, mm, that in itself was delicious. I'm going to try to get me, looks like this bite right here. Got some jalapeno, the bacon, and the cheese. I don't think you bit it far enough. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Now, for these two sandwiches, he got a double. Oh, yeah. And we still spent the same amount of money as I spent at McDonald's. But that is a big, juicy burger. Oh, yeah. All we got from McDonald's was two or three really thin chicken sandwiches that were bland as all get out. This, I mean, the jalapenos taste fresh. The I, thought the I thought the sandwiches at McDonald's cut. were five dollars each. Well, I spent, like I said, it's fifteen dollars, but I bought two drinks, so about thirteen dollars for three sandwiches. Okay. Here we're getting two sandwiches for that price, but they're way better quality. It's got some kind of seasoning or sauce on this. I'm trying to figure out, like a honey mustard kind of thing. Yeah. It tastes really good. I'm not really keen on honey mustard, but this is like really sweet. So it kind of leveled it out. The cheese on this tastes excellent. I'm wanting to say, man, I don't even know what kind of cheese to say this is. I wish I would have read the sign a little bit better before I ordered it. Mmm. That jalapeno cream cheese. You know it's good when you're biting into one end and it's dripping the other end. That means it's good and juicy, which it is really good and juicy. Well, so far, it's on a pretzel bun, and yeah. the pretzel bun is actually really good. It's nice and soft. I've had them before where they've been real hard. Real rubbery. Rubbery and hard. Yeah, they felt like trying to bite into it, one of those old pig skin footballs. So this one here is actually really soft. He loves fondling some soft buns. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Pickles, bacon, cheese, burger. Yeah, it's worth it. It's really good. I don't even, like I said, I don't even know what kind of cheese that is. Look. Munster. Munster? <laughs> I'm a wolf, man. I'm a Munster. 
Yeah, like I said, everything on that sandwich sounded good. I did have to get it without the onion crisp on it, though. Yep. That's the only thing he had to change about it. It comes with onion crisp. So with that, that probably would have gave it a little bit of a crunch. So it probably would have been really good. Yep. Well, as you guys know, I'm allergic to onions, and I didn't want to try to, uh, to attempt it. I didn't want to end up in the hospital somewhere over a burger. I mean, literally the only thing that this doesn't have going for it compared to, uh, I would say, Zaxby's and McDonald's, like I said, they, we were just all together disappointed with that, out, that outing. But with this, I mean, the only thing is uh, Zaxby's was a little bit thicker. But this has more spice. I like the cheese on it. I love the, the thick cut apple smoked bacon. That's still crispy. And mm, there's, there's just not anything I can say bad about this. Nothing I can say bad about this either. I remember when they had those last year, I tried one and I liked it. I did it though, uh, with the onion straws. Mm. Pickles are like a soft southern pickle too, they like a dill pickle. Sorry about the airplanes, we are over by the airport. I mean, the crisp, the, the uh, breading wouldn't have stayed, wouldn't have stayed crispy as long as the Zaxby's, I don't believe, just from the way it felt. And Zaxby's, we drove like a 20 minute drive from the <laughs> restaurant to home to do that video. But I, I give this two thumbs up. It's a really good sandwich. I would definitely come back to Wendy's and have this sandwich anytime. I would say it's a little more expensive than what I want to spend, but I'm a penny pincher. I like dollar menus. But compared to all the other prices we've paid, that's pretty much right on the money. Yeah. I mean, for that burger that I had... I, I mean, you all saw his burger. I mean, that I wasn't that was no well skippy little burger. That was like a handful burger. I think it was well worth it. And if you don't know anything about Wendy's, supposedly they don't freeze their meat. It's all fresh, non-frozen. So that makes it have a little bit better taste, too, because whenever they cook it, it fries up a little bit better. They don't have that frozen taste to it. Like I don't know. Ours came out of the fridge or out of the freezer. I work there. They say they don't freeze it, but it comes in daily. So if it's fr if it's frozen, <laughs> literally only frozen, quick frozen, and then delivered. I don't know though. No. All I know that was one tasty chicken sandwich. It did not taste like their regular chicken sandwich. And that was one tasty burger too. Yep. The sauce on it tasted good. The cheese on it was excellent. It was dripping off the back end of it with some juices from the burger. You know, I don't like a dry burger. I don't like something been burnt, charcoal, whatever. I mean, charcoal, yep. yeah, that's good, but don't burn it. Don't burn it when you're doing that. I like mine, <laughs> if, if I can get it, I'll still like it moving. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't mind like a good smash burger every now and then where they crisp the outside, but if they, you know, those places, it's still juicy on the inside. <coughs> I like a little bit of char on the outside. I ain't going to knock it. Yeah. But yeah, when I can have my burger any way I want it, and it's a big, thick patty. Medium rare. Yeah, we're like, give it to us as rare as you can give it to us. You know, slap it on its butt and put it on my plate. <laughs> Throw it on the grill, flip it, pull it up, and put it on my plate. I mean, if you all can think of any other chicken sandwiches that are new to the market that we need to try or new burgers or any kind of new food that's in the restaurant game right now that we can get to yeah that, that we have locally 
we'll try to do our best to get there. Like I said, you know, this week we did, you know, Zaxby's, which was awesome. McDonald's, which was just dull and disappointing. Very. To Wendy's today, I loved the sandwich. He loved his sandwich. I mean, McDonald's, their, their ad is, we love to make you smile. That didn't make me smile at all. No. <laughs> Ronald, what are you I'd have smiled maybe if it was on the dollar menu. I'd be like, yeah. I mean, no they offense. put some effort in. No offense toward the McDonald's one. You go get the one, the McChicken, for a dollar, and it, it tastes a whole lot better. Yeah, I'd rather go get the McChicken and ask for the spicy sauce. I guarantee I would I would have had a better outing. But I'd been like, hey, can you put some of that spicy sauce on my McChicken? I'm sure they could. And they're not like Taco Bell. They don't charge you for every substitution. Yeah, they do. They no. charge you. They charge you for Big Mac sauce. Yeah, not when I was growing up. No, they do now. You ordered a McDouble. You could say, "I want a McDouble." Add Mac. Add sauce. Mac sauce and make a poor man's Big it's Mac. It's like thirty to fifty cents now. So yeah, they do charge. Y'all stink. But get out. Try any one of these chicken sandwiches. Let us know how you like it. Give us a thumbs up. Like, yeah. comment, and subscribe to the channel. Go out and try the sandwiches. Let us know what you think about them. Each one of them, including the McDonald's one, even though we say it sucks, you might have a different outtake on it. Yeah, maybe ours weren't as fresh as they could have been cooked. Maybe they made ours wrong. I don't know. I mean, it still tasted warm whenever I started eating it. So, I mean, but it just... That bland. meat was so bland. But you guys take care of yourselves. We love you guys out there. So, love yourselves. Love each other. Love God. Try something new. Do something crazy. We are crazy. Take time to look out your window. Watch for the spiders. Ah, thank you, spiders. <laughs> I'll see y'all later. Bye. Bye.